What's up, guys? How's the start of training camp going uh, as far as just getting back out there, seeing some of the young guys in the mix on the defensive line? It's going well. I mean, we got a lot of good guys this year. You know, they got a lot of good guys with talent, and, you know, we can't wait until, you know, Saturday until we see what they got, you know. Um, you know, in the beginning, you saw a lot of raw things, and you put the pads on, then you start getting a different perspective. So now we're putting them in game mode. So it's the next step. As you get older in your career, is, is it fun to see that first preseason game for some of these young guys who, as you just said, take that next step, and maybe they don't even quite know what's, what to expect? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, seeing these guys, you know, flourish is, like, definitely, like, what if, you know, it's a great feeling to be a vet, you know, seeing these guys come up, you know, because obviously they're the future of the Ravens, you know, they're here to, you know, to pass the torch to. So, I mean, you definitely want to see those guys, you know, come up and do good things in the game, you know, because obviously you want to see everyone do great in this team. Brandon, as a vet, uh, what do you focus on with your own game, you know, this time of year, getting ready for week one? And what are the things you're, you're looking for yourself to do as you get ready for week one? Well, the biggest thing is, uh, Getting the cohesive, you know, gelling this unit together, you know, make sure I know all the guys and all the new guys. And then secondly, just, you know, you know, uh, obviously myself getting the plays back down, you know, after having the long season off, you know, helping everybody else get the plays down and just continue with cardio, you know, physical, you know, and uh, mental just like, I guess, um, ability. Yeah, just keep going. Hey, Brandon, um, what are your thoughts on Alejandro Villa way uh, throughout the game? Oh, man's a dog. I mean, he looks good through camp. I mean, he's got fast hands. He moves well. I mean, he's still got it. So, I mean, I'm glad that we have him and glad to see what we can do on our side. <laughs> you haven't had a preseason game in a while, but you also haven't lost a preseason game in a while. Mm -hmm. As a player, do you know how long it's been since the Ravens lost a preseason game? Are you aware of a streak at all? I uh, don't know. We just take it one game at a time. <laughs> and if there's a W at the end, that's all we ma all that matters. Would it surprise you that it's been 17 straight preseason wins? Wow. That's a long time. Does that surprise a long time. you at all? I mean, you've been through I a mean, lot no, of them. I mean, just from a standard here, I mean, you know what's expected. So you just got to get it done. Brandon, how do you think Bradley Bozeman has handled the transition to center? I mean, that, obviously, that's so, such an important position for the O-line, but him transitioning from guard to center, since you go up against him a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, feeling like he's getting comfortable in this position. Uh, I think, actually, at Alabama, did he play center? So, yeah. So, I mean, he's definitely uh, feels, it looks like he's more comfortable there. I mean, uh, he, he's doing a lot of good things. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do, for sure. Just a matter of BK has been talked about a lot this offseason from the other veterans like Blake Campbell right. and Derek Wolf. What have you seen out of him as a second-year player? Uh, the fact that he just keeps taking the next step, the next milestone. I mean, you know, last year, you know, he was he was doing a good job, but like this year, just taking the new steps, getting more consistent, being becoming more of a vet himself. You know, just trying to get him into his own little motion, little to-do list of how to be a pro. When you guys are working in that little film booth area that you know, Matt Beakey is working, how important are hands to, to, you know, on those pass rush reps and, and how good is he at, at using this? I mean, it, it's everything. I mean, the, 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 the quickness, the speed, the, you know, you got to be able to get, you know, maybe one or two, how many people off of you. So you got to definitely be able to use the hands, the whole body. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a grind for sure. After the year of playing with both players at work, how do you think it probably did you guys to stay healthy? I mean, as good as we want to be, really, honestly. I mean, we can stay healthy. The sky's the limit, for sure. Remember any advice you received when you were in your rookie year, or your early years, that uh, that stuck with you? And, and what have you passed on to the, the young? Uh, the biggest thing is uh, taking care of your body, finding a routine. You know, um, get comfortable being uncomfortable, kind of thing. So. Uh, just, you know, the day-to-day -day grind, just one day at a time, one practice at a time, one play at a time. So, I mean, that's what you really take away from it, you know, from Haloti, from, you know, Chris Canty, Marcus Spears and all them. Um, you know, just the, what it takes to be a pro and to really take care of your body and, you know, have longevity in this league. Brandon, what's going to feel like of a preseason game actually having fans after a year of have not having them? How, how's it going to feel to actually have fans? In oh, it's going to be electric, man. I mean, it's going to be... You know, we don't have to bring our own energy anymore, which gets tiring. So, and then trying to play a game. So, I mean, having that, you know, heartbeat back, you know, that's, it's going to be live in there. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. I appreciate you.